Today you're going to hear a story with the title Tomorrowland. My name is Rachel Nicole Jelena and I'm going to be both Casey Newton and Frank Walker. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hey everyone, Casey Newton here. You guys probably didn't know me yet. Today I'm going to tell you guys a story about the future. Well, the future could be scary. Unstable government, overpopulation, environmental collapse, water shortages, and much more. But let's not talk about the scary things too much. Because even the scariest and the darkest future could also change. And I'm going to tell you how me and my friends change the future. It all started when I went to Nampa and casually decided to find the relation of a Nampa launch site in Florida in order to defend my father and use him from losing his job. But unfortunately, I was caught and arrested by doing my actions. Seeing this, a robot decided to put a special pin into my stock. And the police station is where I found out about the special pin. Uh, please. Um, the pin isn't mine. I get in. While looking through his stuff, I found 
the giant Tom Dom monument. Get out! Oh, wait a second! I'm not leaving this place until I get an explanation. Does that Tom Dom? You have to explain it. Well, all right. If I tell you the exact day that you're gonna die, do you wanna know? Um, of course I wanna know. Who wouldn't? But, what if accepting my death is so positive? So that means the answer is yes. I would want you to tell me, but I wouldn't believe you. You have to believe me. What? Do we make our own destiny and stuff? Um, hello, Fred Walker here. Um, I'm going to take over for a story, just for this one. So, the countdown is actually a countdown to the end of the world. But, Casey didn't know about this yet. There was no sign of hope until the modern village right after Casey and her wonderful speech appeared. And so, I decided to bring her tomorrow. Hello, Casey's a new site, and I'm going to continue the story. When we arrive, it's tomorrow. Look at like how the city shows us. Technology is just as in bed, but everything looks quiet and gloomy. There, we are welcomed by Governor Nick, a tall man with nice clothing. He just seems to have a nice relation with Frank. Frank then tells Governor that I can fix the future. The Governor couldn't believe this and decided to be all that. So building where there's a primer and it will. Just like a map, this show tells to show us the past and the future to the people. And this is where I found out about the apocalypse. Wait, wait, what is it? There's an apocalypse coming in 53 days, and you guys expect me to fix it? I'm not special! How can you be so sure? And Athena! Why did you give me the pen? She showed me a piece that was incredible and amazing, and it was a lie! You can't just tell me my day to be so. Pet! What? You're a pirate system! How did you do that? Well, though we did, it's just a matter of finding the right. We explain this. That's right. You get the signal from our dimension. From a machine here. That means it's transmitting there. What if it's not just printing the future? So it's broadcasting. That's right. When I touch the thing, for a few minutes, it's not like anything that's possible. So why can't the opposite happen? What if the monitor is just a drop of it? But instead of like using positive, but using negative and just convincing everyone that the world is ending soon. We need to turn that thing off. And it turns out that Dr. is the one who created the machine to manipulate people's heads. So me and friends work together so that we can destroy the machine. And at last, we are finally able to destroy the giant machine. And with that, we are now able to start a new journey to the Earth to prevent it ending. Tomorrow night rises again. And after that, me and friends decided we can go on our special gift for tomorrow. And the end, no more of the story are heard. Don't be afraid to face the future. Second, be optimistic to stay realistic. And last but not least, the last thing we